ko kay sukad sa pagkabata mao pa gusto na kaagi atong hangin ko sugka ay kanang naa ka diha ako diri di naman makita nang tao utong sa uwan hangin ato ato namon nang katapusan na chuk sa mao to na sige na mihilak na nang bahala na katapusan sa sang kalibutan basta magkuyog lang mi am am pamilya tanan ti pagkasunod na amo na to ni ang pambot gi hampa ko to halin sa baybay Kaya di rin man ito sa takas, kapag nga ito sa baybay, gaya alas na. Kung pag-abot na dito sa baybay, gaya alas na natin na balik, di rin gaya hampak sa amang bay, mauto, nagdungan ang bay ng pagkatumbad. Di rin ito kami sa ilaw, nagtatunggan. Mauna niya akong bay, sa wapama, kung anong bagyo, ah, walang may managan, di lang susunod. Sige kami ko sa akong pamilya, gakos niya. Aking na akong pamilya nga, di rin ito magbuwa, kaya isang bita ko sa ito, ah. Kung sa ragya punta, o sa ragya punta, o sa Kasabit ko ay, ay kadamo nga ko ang di sana ano na lang akong sakot sa akong senyor, tabangin sa akong pamilya. Waday makuha sa among pamilya ba? Bahala wa kami ba ay basta okay, rabuhi, rasang mo tanan. The Atarkan Island is in the northernmost part of Cebu. You have to take a boat in a 45-minute ride. Kinatarkan is an island of 9,500 souls. It is distributed in 1,679 households in three barangays. Many would consider Kinatarkan as a forgotten island due to the least priority it has received from uh, previous governance uh, in terms of medical services, uh, basic uh, services in electricity, water. These are also the major issues here in terms of sanitation, healthcare, and education. There are three elementary schools here, which is good enough for each of the three barangays. But the problem is reflected in the existence of only one high school. And many of those who have been to high school cannot even finish it. It was in 2008 that we started our missionary activities here. We believe that our pastoral ministry can make a change or can make a difference in the lives of the people. May meabot sad niya mga misyonero. Apil na ni Ana ang mga Agustino. Nag-anam, nagkaduol ang mga tao gumikan sa spiritual nga panginahanglan sa mga tao. Nakamat nyo na sila on sa di ay ang kinabuhing Kristuhanon. Gumikan sa mga Agustino. Nakamat nyo sila nga nindot di ay ang magpaduol sa ginoo. Di Santo Nino, the Cebu Agustin Social Development Foundation, it is an implementing arm of the Justice and Peace Commission for Social Development. Right now, we have a flagship project called the Thousand Island Project. It's basically a social de development project that aims to address 1,000 islands of the 7,000 islands of the Philippines, particularly vulnerable to climate change. Then, Yolanda came. We were one of the first responders to give relief services to the islands. We are planning to move beyond the rehabilitation, the relief uh, stage, and move towards really the core purpose of, uh, of SNAF for sustainable development, a kid plan. No, the Kinatarakan Island Development Plan is a play of words in, in a sense because the name of the organization is Santo Nino, the little child. So it's a kid, you know, the kid plan. We are looking at the kids, the children as the future of the islands. And we believe that education is one of the major entry points to attain this vision for the island. That is why the Santo Nino Agustina Foundation is eyeing for the construction establishment of the Santo Nino Development Center that will house the alternative learning system and skills en enhancing courses. This framework is reflected in the, in the design of the development center. So we have here in the side, we have the lecture rooms intended for the ALS 
proper as well as for the lectures for the different courses. While on the other side will be the laboratories wherein they will have their practicum of their skills. We can have the first aid skills, computer technician skills, arts and crafts, housekeeping because we are also eyeing for ecotourism for the island, farming, animal husbandry, carpentry, building construction, plumbing, electrical, culinary arts, among others. The development center can also be used as evacuation center for the locals in times of calamities and natural disasters. Heavily inclined towards uh, a balance between development and, uh, and the protection of the natural resources. We are looking at the coastal resources together with sustainable farming, no? sustainable agriculture. We're looking at the possibility of uh, coming up with sustainable fisheries and ecotourism program. And so we would like Kinatarakan in a sense uh, to be a prototype you know, of what a disaster resilient island is. And if the 1,000 islands will be disaster resilient, then the entire country will be disaster resilient. And we will have sustainable development, not only for this current generation, but also for the next generations to come. We appeal you to be part of this dream. We appeal you to be part of this effort to rehabilitate the island of Kinatarkan. This is just the beginning. We make Kinatarkan a beautiful place to live in. We make Kinatarkan a place where we are proud of to be Filipinos. And we invite you to be part of this history.